Hello, I'm Mark Beachy with the Maryland Theatre Guide and welcome to the 29th Annual Helen Hayes Awards here at the Warner Theatre in Washington, D.C. I asked Christopher Saul what was the best part about performing in Hamlet at the Folger Theatre. Well, the other seven actors, I thought, the rest of the company. Uh, the chance to come to Washington, to the Folger Theatre. What's it like special. being married to an actor? Tough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's very exciting because I get the chance to be brought here, which is so exciting, isn't it? So you like the tra you like the traveling aspect of his I, job? I've traveled all over the world with Christopher, yes, yeah. his job. I think it's an important aspect, you know, if you're going to stay together. Uh, it's no good an actor going off to India uh, and, and Pakistan and places like that where I've been with the Royal Shakespeare Company then coming back and sitting around the kitchen table talking about <laughs> it. You know, she's got to share it. You know, it's got to be a shared experience. Hello, uh, tell us your name and what you're nominated for. Uh, my name is Renee Calarco and I'm my play The Religion Thing is nominated for the Charles MacArthur Award for Outstanding New Play or Musical. Wonderful, and you? I'm Barry Beeren, and I'm also nominated in the same category. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's going to be arm wrestling at you know at at, at, at high noon. That's right, Renee. <laughs> so, what, who I are some of the people that made this night possible for you? Everybody. Um, Theater J, which who produced the play, um, and they took a, a like they took a huge chance and a huge risk on a new play by a DC area playwright. So Theater J, um, this incredible cast of this play, absolutely astonishing, just fierce, fearless. Um, uh, just everyone in involved with it, um, the director, my brother, Joe Clarko. Um, so we got, to, we got to work together on the play, which is great. Um, my husband, who is here and fabulous, and um, just, every I mean, just in everybody who came to see the play. I mean, this is a fantastic theater town, and we all support each other and see each other's work, and it's just, it's been fantastic. It's been a great ride. Now maybe there will be a tie tonight. This is what I'm hoping for. And, and both of you can win. Yes. And if you win, who would you like to thank? I would thank everybody at Imagination Stage, the wonderful theater that did The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which is a show that, that I'm nom nominated for. I wrote some of the lyrics. Uh, so it would be Janet Stanford, Kate Breyer, Septim Weber, and David Palmer from the uh, Washington Ballet, who did the amazing choreography and also came up with, helped com come up with the concept and uh, George Fulginiti Shaker and Ernie Joslovitz and my husband to whom I will be married 30 years tomorrow. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It was a visually stunning an show and the choreography and the puppetry. It was just amazing. The cast, the cast, I mean the whole company, all the designers, everybody in the show it was just such a feast i loved every time i saw it i just loved it and it was really a treat working on it i'm donna migliaccio and i'm nominated for outstanding supporting actress in a resident musical for the music man at arena stage oh what a musical what was it like working with molly smith oh it was a riot i really enjoyed working with her she's very very attentive to detail and i appreciate that so she really helped you along with your character, would you say? She did. She does a lot of table work, which you don't usually get for a musical, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, very good. Uh, what, what future projects do you have going on? Uh, right now I'm finishing up a workshop of uh, a brand new musical, Beaches, the musical at Signature Theater. And then I'm going to be doing the uh, Washington, sorry, the Kennedy Center's uh, gala in a couple of weeks. I asked actress Helen J. Russell about Woody about Says, the life and music of Woody it's, Guthrie. Um, it's a piece that's very joyful, but it's also um, it's poignant. It talks to uh, today. It's, it, it's, it's about the Depression and the music of the Depression and what the folks were going through back then, and, but it's, it resonates today, sadly, uh, more than ever, I think. And we do it all over the world, so um, everywhere we go, people, uh, they, they they dial into that feeling, that emotion of what it's like to, uh, to not have everything that you think you need. So it definitely has universal appeal. Definitely, definitely. Uh, do, do different countries react differently to your play? Oh, that's such a good question. And yes, they do. It's amazing. Each, each city is, uh, is, uh, affects, uh, is affected in a different way. When we were in Glasgow, they, they all stood up and sang uh, one of the, the songs is in the show. It's called The Internationale. And everyone stood up and sang it, and I had no idea that people knew that song. And then other, uh, when we were in Oklahoma, people loved the Oklahoma Hills, and 
when we were here, we arrived on um, November 6th, the, the, the night of the election, and people loved the, the jokes that we did about the Democrats and the Republicans. So there's a little something, it's not just where we are, but when we are there. Growing up, when did you realize that this is what you wanted to do? I think I'm still trying to figure that out, but I, I've always been drawn to theater. I started doing theater when I was very, very young. Uh, I actually went to college as a music major playing trumpet and singing, and then was in the dance world for a while, and then went to... It, my, my route to what I'm doing now has been long but fun, so... Okay. Yeah. So what's uh, your current show has been a big hit, Bob Marley. Can you talk about that show? Sure. We got the rights to Bob Marley's Estate of Songs and put together a new children's musical called Three Little Birds. Sadly, it closes this weekend, but it's been doing so well. It's brought in a lot of new audiences. Who knew that Bob Marley and Children's Theater would work so well together? But it really does. And I think there might be some big things on the horizon with the show. Uh, can you talk about the dances that you've choreographed for tonight's? Oh yeah, tonight in the show we uh, there's a sort of a spoof celebrating all of the uh, the designers in the show, which is kind of fun. And then uh, there's a medley of the musical theater nominated shows, which is fun. A little closer and a little number for the uh, award sponsor. I call it sort of show choir, but we have a little bit of fun poking fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for having me. I am here with the beautiful. Toby Orenstein, who I've been going to her shows since I was five years old. And that was five years ago, right? That was five years ago. Ago. I'm definitely a kid at heart. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> tell, this is a very special nomination for you and a very special show. Can you talk about that today? It's Color Purple, which was very dear to my heart. Yes. Uh, I love directing it, and I felt its warmth and sense of community and love every rehearsal and it's such a joy to have it acknowledged for what it was. Now you have a, another special show coming up which I'm and I, oh, I know you're so excited about this. Three and a half weeks it's wonderful it's so wonderful to do these shows that are so fresh and so new and so challenging. What are some of the challenges in this show? Well, in the Heights, the challenges, it's just filled with all kinds of dancing. And as you know, we're in the round. And scenes happen within the dancing. And the dancing is very active. And so we have to keep those scenes in focus. And that's a huge challenge in the round. But we're getting it. Okay. Best of luck tonight, Toby. You're all there. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.